What's up everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a button pop up while playing a video once it hits a specific time. This is great for sales pages that use video to deliver their content and want the viewers to watch a majority of the video before the call to action button becomes available to them. It's a great tactic if you don't want people skipping ahead over your pitch. I'm going to use the accompanying blog post to show you this example. A link to this blog post will be available to you in the description of this video. The blog will contain all the code that you need to recreate this yourself. I will show you how I created this example. I am using WordPress with the Divi theme. By no means are you required to use WordPress or Divi to create this. It's just my preferred method of building. If you want to learn more about Divi, I will leave a link in the description as well. So let's get started. Now that I'm on my blog post, I am going to enable the visual builder and that is going to activate the Divi builder. I'm going to scroll down and I have a video example here. So I've got the video that I want people to see and then I've got the button that I want to appear at a specific time. So let's take a look at what's going on inside of this video code module that I'm using. So I'm going to click on this little gear icon and it's going to open up the code module settings. And then we can see that the code that I've pasted is right here. Let me take you a little bit through it right here. I have the video tag and it's saying that I'd like to show the controls. If you don't want to show controls, that's up to you. If you don't want the ability for someone to play and pause the video, you can take that away from them. I would probably suggest in that scenario, you're going to need to add the autoplay variable here. You would just hit autoplay and then it's going to automatically start playing the video hey, as you can Michelle. see right there. But I don't want that. So I'm going to take that away. And then we are identifying a function here and the function that I have down below is going to be called show button and that's going to be attached to this ID. So you can name the ID anything that you want to. You just got to make sure that it's correct in both places down in the script and on your video tag. For this example, I'm using sales video. I've set the width to 100%. If for any reason you wanted that to change, you could make that adjustment there. And then the poster is my background display image. So while the video is not playing, I am telling it what image I want it to show. So if you want to have an image showing, otherwise it's just gonna be black, you would need to paste the URL of the image that you want to show right there. Then we move on to the source and the source is going to be another URL of where your video is hosted. In this scenario, I am using Vimeo to host my video and this is the link that I need to use. In the event that a browser doesn't support the video tag, I have a little message right there that would display if they couldn't see my content. So moving down to the script, we've got a couple of constants that we are setting. The first one is the time that we want to show the button. Now this is completely done in seconds. And to make this example simple, I've set it to 30 seconds, but let's say that you had a video that you wanted to have a button pop up at 10 minutes and 22 seconds in. So you just need to do a tiny bit of math. You would multiply the 10 by 60, that equals 600 seconds, add the remaining 22 seconds, and 622 becomes your number that you would place right there in place of the 30. So down here again, this is the ID for the video. We've pasted that value right there as well. And then moving on to the show button function, and this is basically just saying, you know, at this time, show this button. And this is where the next Step where I will show you comes into play. We have another ID of offer button, which I'm going to place on to my button module. So in order for this to work like magic, I am just making the display style change to block instead of none. The next adjustment that I'm going to make is to make sure that the display is set to none until the specified time during video playback. And then we've just got a remove the event listener right below that. So that is all of the code that is required. And so the next step to make this work, I'm going to hit save here because I'm using Divi. I found the best way to make this work for me is to place the button within a row and then attach my offer button setting to the row. So I'm going to click settings right here. And when you're in Divi, you would just go to the advanced tab. And this is where you can put any kind of classes or IDs on it. So offer button is the ID that I want to associate with the script that is on that video above. And then I want to add one little bit of custom CSS. So I'm going to click this tab. 
I'm going to go to the main element and I want it to say display none. I'm going to hit save and now you can see that my button has disappeared. If for any reason that I need to make any further adjustments, like it's not gone because if I try to hover over it, you're like, oh, where did it go? So I just need to go into the wireframe mode, which was this little guy over here. And then I have this row and the button that is hidden. So if I needed to make those setting adjustments, I could click that gear. I could go back and then I can see that I'm telling it to display none and that the ID is still offer button. So all is good there. To revert back to the visual mode, I just need to click this little wireframe icon again and we are back to where we started. And that's really all that's required to make this work. So let's give this a save and see this in action. I'll hit exit builder. And then I am going to play this lovely video and we can watch it work. Hey, it's Michelle. And here's your sales video example with a button appearing at a predetermined time. For this example, I've decided to make the button pop up at 30 seconds into the video. You would obviously adjust this time according to your own sales video. The goal is to really make potential customers who are serious about learning more about the product or service you're selling and get them to watch your sales video up until the point where you make your pitch. Did we do it? Was that 30 seconds? Keep watching below. Oh, there it goes. It's like magic. The point of all of this is to get viewers to see the bulk of your message before and there you have it. So it worked. Again, this blog post contains all of the scripts and code that you need to make this work for yourself. And then I've got a few more suggestions below. If you have questions, please leave a comment. You can leave a comment on the blog or on this video. Happy to respond to either. As always, I'd love for you to subscribe. If you love these tutorials and have specific topics that you would like to see, leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching.